Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video for MVI. Today we're doing a unique install on a 2015 to 2018 Colorado. We're doing an install that's meant for urban areas, downtown parking, um, parking garages. We're going to be putting on side cameras as well as a front camera. The side cameras will be facing forward though to see the front of your vehicle for parking and tight corridors. We can also do this on other pickup trucks um, to make these cameras pop up and work on your factory screen we'll be adding a module that will allow four camera inputs we can also do third brake lights um, and wireless cameras but then we're also going to allow you to mirror your phone whether if it's an iPhone or Android uh, via a USB port that we can put down below or inside the center console so we're gonna go through ripping this panel off and placing the module most likely behind the screen here so we're going to show you how that's done. So first we're just going to pull this trimming off. It has a bunch of snap clips. It's going to sound pretty violent. Turn that off all the way. Again, a lot of snapping. Tough. <laughs> Snap back in. I have these center ones, which can be a little tricky. So there's a bunch of snap clips, a ton of them. And I have these little silver locking mechanisms that go in these holes, so sometimes they'll get stuck. You'll have to pull them back out and push them back on these plastic black tips. And then here we have seven millimeters, four of them, holding this whole bezel in. Zap these all out. And now you're just gonna pull this whole bezel out. Air vents and all, there is more snapping. Locking mechanism. Go around slowly. So once we have those, we have some plugs back here. Just need to be pulled out. Screen plugs. Your USB can be a little stiff. And then your climate control. Move that, we're set that to the side. With this um, upgrade, we can do this to your eight inch screen, um, whether if you have nav or you don't have nav or you have CarPlay or not. We can also upgrade you to have nav, factory navigation, with a different um, HMI module that we will supply that'll be on our website. Um, so you'd have to give us your VIN and then we would send it to you. It's uh, all plug and play, factory. So we can give you CarPlay or um, navigation by removing the, H, uh, the radio as well. So we can send those to you, so that's another option. If you do have the small screen, we can also upgrade you to the eight inch screen if you have the um, IO4 option rather than the IO6 or five option code. So we can also do that for you. We're gonna go ahead and start to put some of this together and we'll be back to show you. Good. So we're gonna show you how to get the uh, door panel off. It's the same process on both sides. Up on top there, you've got a little door that's gonna be popped off. And then behind it's a seven. And that'll just zap out, obviously. Next, you're gonna have to pop this trim panel off right here with a pry tool. Behind there, some uh, sevens to unscrew. Super tight panel fit. Okay, clips, and likely you'll have to dig those out with a, like a um, pick 
and reattach them when you go back on. There is some sevens in there. Two sevens as well. Down there at the very and then this will aggressively just snap off with a popper. As you can see, those clips are very tight. Once you get it going, then you can kind of just jerk it out, pop any remaining clips that may have come off back on before we go back onto the door. Then you gotta kind of sneak it up over the top of the window ledge there. Super tight fit. And there it comes. So from there guys, there's a, uh, <clears throat> a clip on the back side where the uh, door handle pull goes, that's gotta come off. And then two wires coming from here down, those have to be unplugged. And then we need to unclip the uh, door panel down here, this um, switch panel. Come in here with a pry tool and pop up and out this will come up and allow you to get that out the way so we're gonna go ahead and get this out the way and come back all right guys so once the door panels off um, and on this dr uh, driver's side door actually you don't have to remove the switch panel for the windows um, those will just unplug so you can get the door panel out your way we do need to remove the uh, speaker though just FYI so seven millimeters out that out and then it's a tight fit. You gotta get a little aggressive, but that will just pop right off. Now, and then unplug. And that's so we can get in and see the connector on the inside. So I'm not getting a very good view here, but basically inside here, we've gotta get to the connector right there um, off. So, also need to remove that guy right there with the panel popper. Get it out of your way. There's also one over there. Set that out of the way. And then you've got 310 mils right there. A plug that has to be unplugged so our mirror can uh, be popped off. Those come loose. There's a new little clip on the outside that kind of holds that on along with that boot. But just make sure you're careful not to drop it down the side of the door. Out it goes. And then the mirror's got to come apart <coughs> for the uh, camera to go on, which I'll show you here in a second. All right, guys. So this just holds on with some clips around this motor right here. So you just got to get in carefully, a couple fingers if you can, and pop out. 
and then this will be locked into the groove here to hold it in place and then these just slide on with a couple of um, they're tight so a pick to help release them we'll get them off that's for your rear glass defrogger so uh, from here you got one clip here that can be broken Prefer preferably not but that's what just happened Then this thing will just kind of pop out carefully. So super tight plastic clips, guys. Not a lot of fun. Get that loose. This will pop up. And these guys snap into here to lock it in place. So from there, we've already marked our camera hole here. Um, you want to do always do like a test um, fire up so you can see your angle. So we know where to um, drill a hole. So we're going to pop the hole. And then it's got to be run through here, up the back side, and then back down in. And this part right here, guys, is not fun whatsoever. I'm um, just going to tell you right now, you're either going to need some very good soldering skills or consider doing the GM IntelliHaul kit. You won't get the uh, HDMI phone mirroring with it but it is a little bit easier. So this job all the way around is pretty tough, um, but especially this part is very tricky. I'll come back here and show you just a second what we've done. All right guys, so we got our hole drilled here. We can then adjust our camera, get it screwed into place after we kind of get visual on the screen, but it's gonna route up through here like this, through the backside and up, and then attach to all these wires here so the mirror can fold and whatnot and then on this side you do have enough room to sneak it down and through um, the boot down here and then back up and through our grommet right here i'm going to warn you on the passenger side it's not that easy we actually had to cut and then re-solder and splice back in so um, like i said earlier if you're going to do this job and do this particular setup you're gonna need to have some skills to do this, but just so you got a feel for what's going on, that's what it is. Now we're just gonna plug it back in and run it through the door. And I'll show you how we get it through the door as well. There's also some work involved in that. All right guys, so you can see we've got the, uh, the camera harness um, coming in through the door here, down into this boot with this speaker off. That seven, like we showed you earlier gives you room to access in there to work over here where you got to come through the door this door jam is not fun at all very tight and on this particular setup you have to actually make a small hole right here seal it back up and then bring the wire back up into here and into the truck which you can see I've got routed up and it comes over nice to our module Again, on this vehicle, there's not a whole lot of room um, for things, so we're electing, we're gonna put this module up in this cavity here with some Velcro and some zip ties to hold it in place. One other thing I'm gonna uh, mention, you'll wanna pay attention to, the weather stripping on the top of this door jam right here. It needs to come off the actual door panel first, along with all the little clips. There's like five or six of them that hold that in place. We're actually going to install that weather stripping on here first and then put the door panel on. It's much easier. So we'll come back and show you once we have that set up here in just a second. All right, guys, just wanted to explain what we did here. Pulled the clips from the door panel itself. They go back into these slots. There are five of them. Then you're going to put in the weather protectant seal. Orange dot is out to the left of the door. So you're going to slide it in between, pushing down on, all, on each one of them. And this is what the seal should look like along this seal. Nice and tight. And then once you have that, you're going to lift the door panel. 
and pull this out, put this into the door panel's hole. And then don't worry about pushing this in because when you push the whole wall or the whole door panel, it'll just snap around to these clips using a few guide holes on each side. Simple as that, one big push. All right guys, so we're back in this uh, 2017 GMC Canyon. We have officially finalized the um, the camera install, which is nice. Um, so you can see now I've got the automatic cameras that'll pop up. Um, now this customer did elect to have them for the front so he can park in tight spaces. Um, so that's why it's facing that way into the garage. But you can also pull the cameras up individually. We've got our front there. And then you can pull them up individually as well, as you see there. So pretty cool stuff. A little bit of a unique, unique situation here um, as far as how we place the cameras. But I think it's pretty cool. Again, they do auto activate left and right by the turn signals. And then the front will come on automatically below 8 mile per hour as well. Um, also, this does give him the ability to do uh, HDMI video and USB video as well. So, um, pretty cool little outcome on this um, Canyon after all the work. As usual, for more information, give us a call at the number at the end of the screen. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.